Hey everybody, it's Lynette Chandler from Tech Based Marketing. Today I want to talk to you about how you want you can troubleshoot pages that are served from secured URLs. And what I mean by secured URLs are pages that have the HTTPS in the beginning. Now if you're new to this um, and you try to build a page and you upload it to your site and then you call up your pages using HTTPS and then the URL of your page uh, sometimes you may get an uh, angry warning like this let me refresh this page see that security warning do you want to view only the page content that was delivered securely yada 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 and then people can go and click on uh, more information and uh, you know messages like this scare people and especially uh, for those who have just completed a purchase um, process so they're, they're not good either way they're not good and uh, they cause people to doubt you uh, and to wonder about uh, whether you are a person that you, they want to do business or want to have further communication and contact with so when they click yes and most likely they will uh, what you see here is a box that will highlight the content that is not uh, secured um, a lot of times people get really concerned and webmasters who are new to HTTPS don't really know what to do with this I'm telling you the solution is very very simple let me just pull up the HTML of this page right here now that button happens to be an image now what has happened here is the image is served from a regular HTTPS address and because of that it will throw a warning to the user and all you need to do is fix it just add the S to the HTTP and now when you reload ta -da, your error is gone now this goes to all uh, content that is pulled into the page and what I mean by that is external JavaScripts external style sheets okay let me demo something for you uh, on this page right now my style sheet is uh, inside this page so what happens if I change it to an external style sheet and I'm using a regular HTTP uh, address and just want to highlight this to you okay now what if I save this and I reload this page now people get this warning you see how that works and again most likely people are say, going to say yes I don't want to display anything that's not secure right people are scared so when they click yes guess what happens your style sheet doesn't load and your page goes like this terrible so again how to fix that simple just put an S to that and uh, refresh and there we go everything is uh, working as it should be and uh, you have your lock icon uh, there as well as it should be uh, the other thing that I want to highlight to you is on this page as you see I have a sign up form now I use the service called Aweber now some people have told me that when they try to put Aweber forms on a secured page and that it throws an error and I as you see here there is no error and what I'm thinking is that um, a, you have two ways to add an Aweber form to your page and uh, this would be by using a JavaScript or by doing as what I'm doing here which is plain HTML code and my thinking is it is most likely uh, people who are using the JavaScript form that's throwing this error why because JavaScript forms are pulled into the page remember what we said earlier things any content JavaScripts uh, style sheets images anything that's pulled to the page and loaded immediately on a page must have the HTTPS on it but anything like this that is redirected to after the HTTPS it doesn't have to be 
and uh, that's how a uh, few pointers that you can use to troubleshoot any of your HTTPS pages. I hope this has been helpful. Come visit me at techbasemarketing.com.